Uh, hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm here with, uh, another fake game, technically speaking, that I've never played. That was made by Capcom, Type Moon, and dudes called... Thank you very much for the support here. Uh, Fate, um, Tiger Coliseum, which I've never played before, never seen, but, uh, it's very slow on fake Grand Order right now, so I figured I may as well play something fate related. <laughs> So here you go. And I've always been kind of curious about some of the other games that were eventually released. I sure hope this does not get my channel copyright struck in. <laughs> Put a little bit lower. There we go. Maybe that'll help. Check out this opening, may as well. Back in the heady days before there was anything called the Fate Grand Order, there was just Fate Stay Night and its various, various spin off series. Yeah, there's Shiro. He's hanging out. Soccer, Rin. Both in super chibi forms as well. Evil Sakura from the Fate route I still have not seen yet. Or Red. The VN coming to Steam soon. I keep wanting to talk over the which is a real shame because I'm, again, I'm very afraid that various parts of this will just be cut out. As I get hit by the sick copyright strike to my channel. <laughs> Which is a shame because this is actually very nice. That also meant he did not look cheapy at all. He looked just like a straight up dude. <laughs> but to be fair, he is uh, older. There's Bazette and Karen straight off of their... Uh, showing up in Valentine's Day. Asan, he's checking it out too. Tiger as well. Yeah! And they're above the earth somehow. Alright. Press start. Let's see how this works out. I assume it will not go great. Alright. I. How good is it going? I accidentally pressed back. I forget. Japanese video games. The X, X is cross. And it actually goes back. So this was released also on a PSP, and I have to remember that as well. So let's ch check out the starting roster. I got Shiro, got Saber, I got Rin, I got Sakura, I got Ku, I got Ryder, and I got Caster. Who would I want from me? Obviously, you gotta you gotta rep the boy Ku. I'm gonna go with Ku. Uh, here's a sick story thing that's going on. Do you remember the, the the Fate Stay Night? Well, this has nothing to do with that. I guess Tiger's doing something. I really wish I knew Japanese. I tried to see if I could find a translated ROM of this, and it just does not go. I doubt if there would be anything translated for this, considering that it took CCC forever to get finally translated, and that was something people actively wanted to see fully translated. So I doubt that um, the weird fighting game on the PSP is going to be translated. So I'm just going to do a sickle skip here. If you want to experience the full story, feel free to know Japanese and read it yourself. Wow, there's even this? Who's Ku hanging out with? He's hanging out with everyone's favorite priest. Asking, how's he going? Ku says, I'm doing pretty good. Kodamine says, that's great. Can you go out and get some coffee? Ku says, I would love to go get some coffee for you, sir. He's like, here you go. Here's $20. Make sure to bring me back my change. Also, if you want to get something as well, feel free to get something for yourself. Lightning strike, what does that mean? Ku says, you got it. Now he's on a mission to try and get as much value out of the $20. As he sends it back. What is that ear-shattering noise? Kodamine figures out what he's going on with the coffee I plan. He's already anticipated this. He says Ku doesn't have it in him to actually fully spend the $20 without going over. And so that's where we start here with Ku's story. That was my sick translation on the fly. If you actually know what's going on, feel free to tell me. We cut back to Ku. Currently debating if he wants a bagel. Gilgamesh shows up and said, You idiot. You should get the most expensive item possible. Full breakfast platter. 
He says, I can't get that within $20. He says, it's not my fault that you're poor. <laughs> he says, how dare you call me poor? He says, you are poor. He goes, you're right, I am poor. That's why I'm trying to get within these $20. And now he feels called out by it. Gilgamesh says, I will gladly lend you a dollar fifty. Fighting. And now we're fighting Gilgamesh to see if we can get additional money to add it to our coffee fund. Alright. What the hell? Okay. Let me figure out the buttons here. That's dodge. Where did you go? Gilgamesh? Where the fuck did Gilgamesh go? There he is. Come back here and fight me, coward! Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. I got it. I got it this time. He's got nothing on me. He's got... Okay. He, he's, he's good. He's good at the game. He knows what he's doing. Okay, that's how you target. Alright, back up. Back up. Okay, unlock. I want to unlock. There we go. Okay. Boom. Tiger power. Okay. I think we are currently winning. We are not winning. We're actually getting our shit rocked? Okay. Can you target the man? There we go. Okay. You got this, Koo. EX. Hurry up. Hurry up and do what? I, do I need to get 12 points to win? Jump, jump, get this ball. Oh, shit. No. Leave me alone. I think I'm winning. So I, as long as I avoid him, I think I just win. Can I do my noble phantasm? That's a very good question right now. Okay. Okay. Come here. Uh, I finished? Did I win? I think I won. I did win. I wish I knew how to do my special. It feels like I could have done my special there at the end. But that's a win. That's a victory for Koo. Gilgamesh, very sad. He says no. Because now he has to, unfortunately. I can just get rid of the pictures. So there you go, Gilgamesh. Now you have to pay up your dollar fifty. So now Ku has a twenty one fifty to go do anything for breakfast. And he's realizing that maybe he should have bet a little bit more money. So we go on to the next story bit. This is episode two. He's going to the store, figuring it out. Archer's there, unfortunately. And Rin. Both of them are also there for breakfast. They're there to actually get McDonald's breakfast. It was the cheapest breakfast in the year 2006. Even in Japan. Ku starts talking down on them, saying that's not even real food. Rin absolutely gutted. She says, what's wrong with McDonald's breakfast? Archer says, nothing. Because he's a cook, and he would have loved to just cook food, but... Is this a three-way fight? This seems unfair. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing, and they do. Alright, alright. Bring it on. Oh. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, nah, you die. No, what the hell? This is cheating. Okay, here we go. D uh, what the fuck? I'm being schmooved on. There we go. What the fuck? She just has the ability to shoot. You're dead now. Leave me alone. Okay. Okay, I see now where the... Okay, here we go. The ultimate clash. Okay. Uh... Oh, God. She's hitting me with Gondor. Okay, I'm out of here. I'm technically winning, so there's no reason for me to fight either one of you. Try and catch me if you can. And the answer is, <laughs> they cannot catch me. <laughs> Alright, where, where'd they go? There they are. Ha! Ah. Huh. It was a trick. You fell for the oldest trick in the book. Okay. Oh, no! No! I refuse to lose. Yeah, there we go. There's the magic tiger ball. 
Which unfortunately is going to be a little bit too late for me to do any of my things. There we go. Now we'll teach them. Zero points. Winner me. Turns out when one of them is human, they're very frail and they will take a lot of damage. <laughs> Who would have possibly guessed? And so they lose the great uh, breakfast debate, sadly. Rin in absolute tears. Feels gutted. But it's okay. Because then she says, I'll just have Emiya cook real food. Completely negating her entire side of the story. Doki, I think that means hard things, doesn't it? It does. Oh, here we go. Shiro's here. Ku says, didn't I stab you in the fucking heart? And then he goes, it's okay, I got better. Saber says, you're no... How can a man with 2150 hope to get breakfast when he can't even kill a man with his undodgeable move? Damn, Shiro's going crazy in the little tiny corner box. I guess we're fighting each other now. There wasn't even time for me to set up any breakfast-based gags. Nothing. I get nothing, unfortunately. Sad. Oh god, I can see your sword. Okay, here's uh, my decree. Only Shiro dies. No! Saber, leave. I don't wanna I don't wanna hurt you. You though. Oh shit. They're kinda they're kinda sick. I don't wanna hurt you, Saber. You on the other hand. Oh god, he's he's absolutely kicking my ass though. Not gonna lie. Did he oh he killed me. That's what I get. This is the first time I've ever lost. Now you die. Are you serious? Boy, if I ever learn how to do my noble phantasm, you're so dead. Yeah, leave. Oh, I forgot that I could uh, block. There we go. Oh, come on. This is a clearly unfair... In every kind of form and capacity. <laughs> it's hard out here being cool and you're just by yourself. Trying to live your life. And you get fucking jumped. I'm just gonna do a quick old run around. There we go. Yeah. I, fi I eventually figured it out. Killed them both. Alright, I'm just gonna run. Until I am declared the victor. Shiro, second place, but it doesn't matter. Win. Win for me. And my sick team of singularly just Ku. And no one else. I don't need anyone else. <laughs> this is not as good as Fate Unlimited Ku. <laughs> Somehow, the, the, who would have guessed the PSP fighter not as good as the PS2 one? But, and you know, you can't be too hard on a PSP game. It's trying its best. This was only made to very do quick. Hey, it's Assassin. Hello. You were not on the select screen, which makes me sad. And Caster's here, too, to say stuff. And Caster's like... I think there was supposed to be a breakfast storyline, but I'm going to be honest, there's no breakfast here at the temple. It's, it's not allowed. So we got to fight both of them. Just beat the shit out of both of them. I have to assume this ends with me fighting Berserker. Who else could possibly be? Are you guys going to chill? Okay, this also seems a little bit unfair because you guys are both servants. It's okay, Caster died. Never mind. It was actually very fair, it turns out. Angel wings. Alright, let me just leave. Damn, you are weak, girl. What's going on here? Oh, she's blocking. I'm also very weak. I don't know who am I to actually speak on the weakness of others. Ow, what the fuck? Is she shooting me with fucking fireballs? I'm gonna die to Assassin, but it's okay, because I wouldn't want to die to Gojiro. Ah! Can y'all just leave me the fuck alone? I can't run! Oh, well, okay. I got it. Ooh. 
Uh, no! My kingdom! My mobile phantasm, it's gone! Now he has the noble phantasm. And he hit me with it. It didn't really do anything, but it's okay. Come on, give me the ball. I did not get the ball. Damn, she's weak as hell. But I guess she, she is a caster, to be fair. How the fuck do I get it up there? I have to do a fucking platform? I missed. <laughs> How did I miss? Ow! It's okay. I'm just gonna hide for the next 11 seconds. Ow! Okay. That was a bad idea. Gojiro's absolutely wrecking my shit. It's okay, I still won at the end. I didn't have a partner, I didn't have no one. Just pure coup skills. This is how Fate Stay Night should have just gone. Coup soloing absolutely everyone in Fate Stay Night. This is the coup route. It's a brand new route that you're witnessing right here. As a man looking to get a simple breakfast for cheap on the side. Even though I think this started with a coffee bit, I don't remember at this point. Kojiro says, go ahead, you may go on to the next stage now. And I assume next it has to be Berserker. I mean, it's also weird because I started fighting Gilgamesh. Murasaki. Am I going to fight Murasaki? That'd be weird. She's This is not her game. Mysterious woman that can only be one person. It's Buzzette. She was not suffice enough to dodge me in my summons, and now she's going to attempt to hurt me here. She also seems to really like Ku. Nan Nandiska. Well, thank God I know what she's saying there. I assume it's just na 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 na. Oh, okay, it's an actual one on one. Not since Gilgamesh since there was there one by one on one. All right, where are you? There you are. Come on. Doop 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 doop. Whoa. Okay, okay. I think I got it. So I pro. Oh, nope. Whoa. Come on. Come on. No! Shit. God damn, she completely wrecked my shit. It's alright, I got it. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win this one. There we go. Give me the goddamn special ball. Really? You're not gonna give me the special ball? Here's some delicious rice. I refuse to fight you until I get my noble phantasm. Thank you. Because I'm currently winning. Nope. There it is. Oh, are you kidding me? She's going to be able to use it immediately. Just based off of the amount of ass kickings I've taken. Oh, God. It's like the Smash Ball, but worse. Because now she still has it. Where'd you go? There. Die, please. Hurry up. I am trying my best here. There is not a lot of buttons here to do. There we go. How did you miss? <laughs> this is the unmissable move. I'm... That's a, that's a bug in the game. No. Move. I refuse to get diffed by Bazette. I'm just going to leave for the next four seconds. No. No. Leave me alone. Alright, I win. I lost, actually. <laughs> I didn't even realize that she was winning <laughs> when I was running away. Alright, try again. Alright, where is she? Alright. Casually approach. Gotta treat this like an actual fighting game. She tries to get in on me. That's when the attacks start. Whoa! Alright, alright. Where is she? Oh yeah. Don't don't try anything funny. 
Oh shit, she's approaching. Yeah, how about that? Not so fun when the opponent knows what they're doing, huh? Ah, oh, god damn it! <laughs> That's an instant KO regardless of anything. How am I supposed to... Damn you, CPU, and your understanding of the ways. She has more of an instant kill than Ku's move, and Ku's actually supposed to just kill you in a single hit and never miss. You want to do this forever, girl? I'm willing to do this forever. Eventually, one of us is going to get tired. There we go. There we go. Die! I'm back in the lead, baby. Where'd she go? I know she's here somewhere. This is the hardest point I've ever had to fight so far. Oh, God! Oh, shit! No! God damn! Alright. Oh, I don't, don't know fully what the hell I'm supposed to be doing when the opponent seems to be able to block absolutely everything I'm doing. There we go. There we go. Die. Alright, two seconds. I win. It's a tie, actually. But I should be able to win a tie. Come on. I should count as the win. Does it not count? Draws? Come on. I don't understand why she gets more. It seems like the character who has an instant kill should not be allowed to get more points than me. That's just me, though. Here you go. Please back off. No. If you're asking is Kuz a noble phantasm an instant kill, it is not an instant kill. He does not have an instant kill. She has an instant kill. Literally, it just misses point-blank range. I'm not saying that Ku's move is bad. I'm just saying that they made it too accurate to the anime where he never seems to actually kill with it. Die. I'm just gonna never allow her to get in. Oh, shit! There we go. Come on, come on. Alright, Noble Phantasm time. There we go. I don't know what activates the Noble Phantasm, but if I just smack enough buttons, eventually she just dies. Oh, shit. Die. Can I jump in at you? There's a question that I never thought to ask. Oh, God. No! This is where it all comes apart. No! Stay away from me. Alright, well, for the next 34 seconds, I'm just gonna forever stay away from her, because if she hits me with that noble phantasm, I just die. Oh, it's not the time for my controller to be acting bad. Run! Ku, run! This is it. I told you, Ku. I tried to warn you that you were gonna instantly die to that move the second she did it. Boom. Enjoy that. Enjoy that death. Alright, I finally win. All it took was multiple fights. That had to be the final fight, though. I don't know who else would you actually have except for Berserker to be the final fight. But it seems like that would make the most sense to just be the final fight. She seems very bad. Not very bad. She's very sad that she just lost, but it's okay. says, don't worry about it, girl. I mean, I can't believe this has as much writing as it does. He says, don't worry about it. Next time, you might be able to win. Completely ignoring the, the other times he lost. No, it's still going. Or <laughs> chapter 6. Okay, this is this has to be the final stage. We're like in the fucking Saint Seiya era area now. And there's Taiga. And she says, "Get ready. 
you're ready to fight in the Ultimate Tiger Dojo. And Ku says, I was unaware that I was doing any of that. Is it actually just fighting Tiger? I actually would be curious, but... It... God, the, the little character portraits is going crazy. It is just Taiga. Don't I just win? This seems like an extreme mismatch. <laughs> but knowing this game, I'm going to assume that she also has just like an instant kill. That she'll just instantly merc me. Alright. Alright. Here we go, okay. Easy enough. Five points. But if she kills me one time, she takes nine points. So that feels like I should just never let her kill me. Alright, I'm just gonna go this way now. Because I see the giant glowing ball, which tells me... Instant kill! Boom. There we go. Now it works. Alright. I'm safe now. Ten points ahead. Even if she kills me once, she still has to kill me twice. We got 69 more seconds. So time to see how much I can kill Taiga in that amount of time. I don't understand the point of the, the jumping move at all. Maybe there's someone that you want to hit from up, up, up by. But it doesn't seem to have that amazing of a range. If I'm being 100% real with you. Tiger Ball. Up. Oh. There it is. Eventually I was able to just uh, squeak it out. Okay, now that I actually have access and the hitting with Ku's move, it does seem much better. <laughs> it does seem to be kind of an instant kill. Against at least these characters. Characters who are supposed to be human. Alright, she's died. Goodbye. One more. It's kill. Okay, I figured out the system. If you just instant kill, instant kill. Oh damn it! I wasn't able to activate it in time. If you just instant kill your opponent every single time with your noble phantasm, you just win. That's what they should have done in actual Fate Stay Night. Is just spam their noble phantasm until they won, ignoring all forms of anything. I can't believe I lost. How did I, a normal Japanese woman, lose to an ancient Celtic hero? It makes no sense. Now that has to be it. Unless it actually just continues on. How many times can I actually say that? That felt like the final area, but apparently it is not the final area. Alright, continue on. Okay. Kotamine, remember what I told you at the beginning? I'm gonna ask for that change back now. This was always my goal from the beginning. Is Kotamine teaming up with Taiga? I assume that's the story going on here. Karen's also here. They both hate each other. Ku says, I can understand that feeling. Am I gonna fight Kotamine for the end and Karen? Maybe. Find out soon. You got it. Much talk, Lancer. Command seal. Shit yourself. I hate you. It's crazy. What's going on? Okay, yes. It is versus both of them. This shouldn't be that hard. Oh god. I get a lot of points for killing them, though. Oh. I mean, but still, they should just be dudes, right? Oh, well, except for Karen. Except for Kodamine. He's probably a different beast, but I assume Karen is just a girl. <gasps> no! Well, okay. So Kodamine also has just an instant kill on the Noble Phantasm. <laughs> I'm gonna see if every character just instantly kills with their noble phantasm if they have it. Alright, Ku, just keep stabbing. Eventually, you will kill something. 
Ow. Alright, I'm running away. I have a feeling the Tiger Ball is going to show up right here. That was right. Are you kidding me? Come on. This should not... This is not fair. Oh! Oh. I'm getting mixed by fucking Kodamine and his daughter. Are you, stop! <laughs> stop hitting me! So I can, I'm going to lose to this one now. Yep, sure did. But it's okay, because they both have nine points. If I can divide the points among them, that's better than one person having all the points. She got, she got back all her fucking health as well? Oh my god. The fuck? It's times like this, I wish I knew enough Japanese to read the instruction manual. So I could figure out how to do my actual moves. Okay, let me just pick up that armor real quick. Pick up this magic ball. I did not want to do any of that. Thank you. There we go. Double kill. That's an instant win. As long as I get back all my health. Oh god, the camera is fighting against me here. I seem to be able to do moves occasionally. I'm really well with you though. Not 100% sure how I do them. Still. Oh no, that's bad. Well, actually, as long as I don't lose to Karen again, I'm fine. Alright, let me just ring out for the next 8 seconds. Avoid Karen like the plague. 2, 1... No wait, they both get tied up then, and I think I actually lose because of that. Because they have actually 27 points, Jesus Christ. Well, that's hard. Okay. Alright, where are they? That again seems completely unfair to the person who is singularly by themselves. <laughs> Does kind of remind me of Mortal Kombat 9, where Mortal Kombat 9 also had like weird 2v2 fights and they were unfun because nobody likes to get just randomly destroyed by the uh, AI. I think I realized how to do the Noble Phantasm now. Things R1 and R and uh, L1. I can try it right here when I get this ball again. Never mind. It went away. Do 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 do. Where where's the ball? There it is. Oh, that really seems just unbelievable levels of fair that they can just hit you on wake up <laughs> and you just can't dodge it and you just get hit by it and also she has her own now so I just lose here as well there's literally just nothing you can do <laughs> oh that's why it's because she dies after using it I mean that makes it a little bit easier but also that doesn't make it any better for me who still loses the points I have more points than them There we go. That's one down. There we go. Alright. Go for it again. Pray that they never get a Noble Phantasm. There we go. There goes Kodamine. Let's see. How many times can I lose? I can't lose once currently. Alright. Running away. Try and find... That's good. 
Little sword, that's alright. I really want these balls specifically so that they don't hit me with them. Yep, got them both. Alright, cool. I should be good now. Oh god. Oh god damn it. It's rough. But it's okay, I think it's over now. Surely that has to be it. There can't be anything more here. Yep. Yeah, that was rough when they were just both back-to-back -back Noble Phantasming me in the face. That was a uh, rough time. Rough, rough go. What? How did our strategy of just overwhelm the opponent with non-stop Noble Phantasms lose? Impossible. I'm gonna... S nope. I won. That looks really weirdly phallic in the back. But he did get coffee. The coffee machine broke. Did he break it? Did he stab it? He might have. I'm not 100% sure, but it looks like he maybe he stabbed it himself. Now nobody gets any coffee. And he keep me and he pockets the $20 for himself. And he goes fishing. So it's the good ending. As he enjoys a nice, comforting fish time. While well, Bazette just watches, I guess. He's like, you're right. Fishing is fun. She says, I would love to fish. But unfortunately, I don't have the ability to fish. He says, I'll show you how to fish. Roll credits. Is that a special song for the ending here? <laughs> Let's take a look back. Remember Shiro? I remember Shiro when I fought him. Damn, that was such a long time ago. Remember Rin? Remember when she showed up and jumped me with Archer? I remember that. S Saber. She was also there with Shiro. She had the giant sword. Her sword was visible, so it was scary. As opposed to Excalibur when it's invisible. Yes, Caster was there as well for a bit, but I almost forgot because it was Kojiro. She mostly just kind of blocked for the entirety of the time I was fighting her. Shinji is in this game! Well, he didn't appear in Ku's story. But here he is reading a tiny-ass book. That's not how you read. That's a weird way to read, Shinji. Sakura here to smack him up with the frying pan. A young Princess Peach in Smash Brothers. Actually, by this point, <laughs> Peach from Smash Brothers must have already come out. Check out my giant lance. This is an insanely huge lance in the foreground there. Yeah, and there's just Karen. Just hanging out with a giant robe in the back. This guy, who I can't remember the name of at the moment, other than he's Caster's Master. He was in this game as well. Did not appear. He was too busy. A writer. Also too busy to appear in the story. At least for Ku. She was doing something else. Bizet was able to make it there. She was the start. She was the one who started doing the... Actually, your noble phantasm just is an instant kill if you hit him with it. Kojiro. Kojiro's wasn't an instant kill. Maybe his is on the weaker side. Because I was able to take Kojiro's at least once. I could not imagine fighting Berserker in this game. <laughs> Thank you for not making me fight Berserker. If it's, a, if it's a game of chibi fighters to really sell how terrifying Berserker is, he should just come out in unchibi form. <laughs> That's the ultimate way to show how scary someone is. Asan with his weird ass arm in the back. Why? I guess that is how it's supposed to look like. Uh, evil Sakura also not appearing in here. She said you have to choose a different route if you want to see me. Kotomine with his weird giant eye. He was here with his black keys ready to ruin your fate. Grand Order Servant uh, summoning. 
Archer was here too. I don't know why they kept him so separate from Rin though. Maybe there's no rhyme or reason for any of the characters that they're showing here and they just want to show it. Next is... Oh, Al Alter, of course. It would make sense that Alter would be in here somewhere. Ilya. Just not that different in chibi form versus just regular Ilya. And there's Taiga. It's her game. It's her Colosseum. Thank you for playing the game. And then the game just shuts off. It doesn't shut off. It continues talking. Kojiro says something. I wonder if I unlocked anything. I did just beat it with Ku. Uh, let's find out. Uh, oh, it was Kojiro that I unlocked. Oh, so each character shows you how much they're worth when they die. So he has 7 points, she's 6 points. 8 points. 9 points. 4 points for killing Sakura. 7 for Rin. 9 for Saber. 7 for Shiro. Interesting. Okay. Well, there you go. That's Tiger Coliseum. Uh, seems like an okay PSP game, but not what I would have wanted from a fate fighting game, probably. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more buttons. It's a little weird getting used to the, the 3D stuff, but it's alright. Uh, shame kind of that it's not translated, because I would have actually liked to have seen the actual story, because it was fully voiced and everything. But uh, only so much you can do when you don't know Japanese. But anyway, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys next time. Goodbye.